Welcome everyone, it's Jenny Druid here from That's Crafty Stampers. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in Lang Warren, Victoria, Australia. Today's workshop that I'm doing a video on is all came about that I've got a lot of scraps that I need to use up, so I thought it'd be good to do a workshop called a Scraplings Workshop. And I'll show you a few things that I've made and the stamp set that I thought would be ideal for this workshop is called the Pierced Bloomed Dies. This is in the annual catalogue. This is the all the dies here. So there's 25 dies in this set. Quite a lot of beautiful flowers. And what I love about this set is they've all got pierced images on all the, the flowers and the leaves. So it looks like a, a stitch type um, design. There's also a stamp set that coordinates with it. But I'm mainly just working with the dies for all the projects that we're doing today. So I'll also show you a little novelty item. I've got a, we're starting to build up a lot of these empty containers from a washing powder. So I thought it'd be nice to decorate them and use them to store things in the craft room like your, either your blending brushes or pencils, rulers, paint brushes. So I got to and I put a piece of design a series paper around it. Now I think I've sort of done a bit too much on it but I just got carried away using all these dies. So the flowers make beautiful, there's a sunflower there that I've layered up. These are the leaves. I've used a few other elements from other stamp sets. I've used the little bumblebee there. Um, I've used the little mushrooms off the snails um, design a series paper little butterflies we used to have. I've also used the sheep from the celebration. So it was just a fun, fun little project. So I thought I'd share that with you. But what I've made here, I'm going to show you how to do this particular card here. And these are just some examples of what I've done using the pierced blooms dies. So these are little four by four cards that um, I use the celebration paper, the black and white paper called Painted Penned. I think that was what it was called. I've also used the lovely tailored tag dies. They're quite nice for using this set as well. So we'll get started and I'll show you how to make this particular card. I've done most of the die cutting to save a little bit of time. And we'll get started. So. When I went to make this card, there was some paper that was on the clearance rack called Beautiful Butterfly Bijou. It's a six by six paper that used to be out in the catalogue, but it was um, deleted and they brought it back on the clearance rack. So I went to order some to do a workshop, but it, it went straight away. So I loved this particular design on this paper so I thought well seeing I can't get the paper I'll try and recreate the same look of this paper so that I can teach the ladies in class how to do it. So all you're going to need for this is your blending brushes, a piece of basic white cardstock. So I've done all the cutting out on here. So I've just got a piece of basic white cardstock here, which I'll show you how to get that same look. We're also going to be using the colours that are very similar to what's on here. Is So Saffron, Mint Macaroon, Bermuda Bay and Polished Pink. So I'm using those four colours. I'm also going to be using the painted pep textures embossing folder because that gives a beautiful look when you emboss it like a crinkled look so we'll get started with showing you how to do this technique seeing we can't get the paper and I'm also going to be using the one of the stamps from artistically inked it's this lovely marbleized looking image so I've got that here so what we'll do, we'll start with the mint macaroon colour and we're just going to stamp the images of this up virtually all over that basic white 
piece of cardstock. Put another colour ink on there, but that won't matter. So we're then going to add some of the So Saffron. Also going to add a little bit of Bermuda Bay but I'll just do this very lightly I'll actually ink it up and stamp it off first because it's quite a dark dark color and I won't ink it up again I'll just stamp that around I forgot to bring my simply chamois over but I'll just rub that off on the side and the last color is polished pink which again I'll just use that actually I won't use the stamp on that one I'm going to use the blending brush so I'm just gonna go into my polished pink take a lot of the color off on my paper and then just add a bit I'm trying to get a similar look to that so bit more pink down the bottom always take it off on your paper first so you don't get a blob of color onto your actual piece that you're working on so that's sort of got the same toning so I might try and add a little bit more of this mint macaroon going to be everyone's going to come out different depending on how much color you put on and where you put your color on but the overall effect is that lovely soft washed look now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it through an embossing folder over the painted textures so I'm just going to run that through And then when I come back after doing that, I'll put this all this card together. There we go. So the painted texture gives that beautiful whether you can see that beautiful look of crinkly look to it okay so there's no this is just a normal five and a quarter inch card there's no set pattern for this it's really easy to put together and the other embossing folder I've used on these pieces here on this one and this one is the ornate floral 3D embossing folder. Both those embossing folders are in the annual catalogue. They're still available. So we make sure the card opens the right way. This colour is called Pool Party. So I'm just going to adhere that on. I did see this idea of a card on Pinterest. I can't remember the name of the demonstrator, but it was absolutely beautiful. And I changed it up a little bit use different colors and added different things on it what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add this piece that I painted used with the um, blending brushes and the artistically inked stamp I'm going to adhere this to the left hand side just leaving a little bit of a border at the top and the sides then I've got a panel of pool party and the basic white that I've run through the embossing folder. I'll just add that on. I'm 
Again, this is sort of using up some of my scraps and we've all got lots of scraps, I'm sure, at home, especially if you do workshops and you're cutting up lots of patterns. Um, you always get a little bit left at the end that's great for using up for this sort of work. We're just going to add another little panel down the bottom here. Again, that's pool party and basic white. Run through the embossing folder. And then what, I'm, what I've done, I've done it earlier just to save time for the video. I've used, um, this is where it's good if you've got a lot of scraps because you can put a whole lot of flowers on one coloured piece of scrap cardstock, run the whole lot through and what you do, you end up, you can do this sort of thing when you're watching the TV. If there's a good show on telly and you get lots of ads in between, just grab your mini Big Shot machine because all these dies on this set, these will all go through your the mini Big Shot machine or you can use your big one. Just get all your scraps and when the ads on TV are on, just run some of these dies through your scrap, put them all in little containers and then when you go to make some cards with flowers on it, you've got heaps. So I've already cut out, I'm using the big design on this one and the small one. We're also using this label die up the top. We're using the bow. We're using the stem. We're also using these two little ones as centers of the flowers. So you get two in each die. So there's a big, big center for the big flowers and a small one for the small flowers. There's three single leaves. There's two double leaves and these leaves and a stem and all these are other little flowers which you can layer to make um, different looks of flowers just like this one here I used to make the sunflowers on that and then you can just play around with different designs it's just really really pretty so what we're going to do now oh this one here this die here this is a new set coming out in November called Eden Garden dies and I thought this would look nice down the bottom of here so I've used it my favorite color which is called soft succulent I've run this die through on the soft succulent so I'm just going to use an edging of this down the bottom so I'll trim this piece off I just thought it finished it off nicely so I'm just going to stick this piece on the bottom this would have to be my favorite color in the new in color range the soft succulent very soft and pretty and then I've already die cut all these elements out just to make it quicker for the demonstration so we've got um, the big flower that's pool party I'm just going to use the top of my tomboy glue just to cup it. Then this is a retired colour, but I had a lot of this in scraps and it's called Soft Sky. I'm just going to cup that as well. I've cut two of the leaves in the Soft Succulent. I've cut a little centre for the flower in the white. And I've cut a little um, petal pink, I think that one is, in the flower. And then a set of double leaves and the stem. So we'll get to and put all that together. So just with this stem here, just going to use my very narrow tip. These little bottles you can get from the cheap shop or the $2 shop. It just gives a fine, fine line of glue. just going to tuck that in down the bottom and I'm just going to hold the stem so it's sort of straight it does it's usually on a on an angle but I can bend it so it's straight I'm then going to put a dimensional on the back of this big one and we'll pop that there like that then we're going to add the smaller of the flowers 
in the center. Again, the end of your Tomboy glue comes in handy for pushing things down, holding it in place till it does set. It sets quite quickly, this glue. Then we're going to use the two flowers and we're going to adhere those onto the side of the stem. Put one there. Also add the centre of the flower. beautiful but it's absolutely gorgeous the bow it's a really like a double looped bow we're going to use the glue dot to put that on very very pretty bow and then we'll add the um, sign up the top with dimensionals. This card you could use for anything really, as birthday, sympathy, anniversary, get well, thinking of you, cover all occasions, depending on what verse you put on it. Then we're going to add this little flower down the bottom. We we'll use a little glue dot for that one. And then the two little leaves. Oops, the flower came off. two little leaves we're just gonna cut those and put a bit of glue on the back add those in So that's the finished product and I'll show you a few other things that I've made with this set just to show you how versatile it is so that's that one there I've also made some little four inch square cards using the celebration paper I've also done another one here using the contour dies I've done one using the black and white paper from the hand penned I haven't put a verse on this one but I just thought that could be good for an anniversary card I've also done a Christmas card yep done a Christmas card and I've done a few tags here that's just a little scrappling that's the off cut of a card when you've sort of done a couple of cards out of an A4 and an off cut that's just a little Scraplings, that's called a couple of tags using the tailor made tag dies. Oh, and these were ones I saw on Pinterest done by a demonstrator called Beard and Wedderfield. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but that's done with the your peachy paper. So it's just your peachy paper cut up, die cut, and fussy cut to make these little tags. And one thing I forgot to put on to here is also the champagne gems. Sorry, I forgot that. So we're just going to put, just using my take your pick tool, put a little one there and a bigger one up there. So that's just an idea of what you can do with all your scraps at home to make up some projects using your scraps. I hope you've enjoyed that ladies and happy crafting everyone.